Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. So today we are starting with a new chapter called States of Matter. So in this chapter we will mainly talk about gaseous state okay, and then a little bit about liquid state. All right. So basically for today's session just look at let's look at what all are the topics which we'll cover in this chapter. Okay. So once again we'll only be covering 11th grade syllabus and that also only of CBSC board that is uh, everything that we study will be based on the syllabus as given in your NCRT textbooks. Okay. So let's start. Well uh, the first sections will start with uh, introduction and in which we will define the different phases of matter the three states of matter which you already are aware of solid liquid and gas then we will move on to the meaning of the term thermodynamic variables followed by gas laws there are various gas laws which uh, define the behavior of the gas that will study or the gaseous state then the equation of state that is followed by Dalton's law kinetic molecular theory Okay, so this section finishes up your ideal gas laws. Okay, after this we'll move on to real gas law and uh, in that we'll start with deviations from ideal gas behavior and how real gas behaves and then we'll come up with an equation of state for real gas. Right, so then we'll try and explain this, uh, this deviation of uh, behavior and then we'll study liquefaction. Okay, which uh, uh, you are commonly uh, which you have commonly studied as liquefaction okay so it is actually called liquefaction of real gases that is converting the gaseous state into liquid state right. so after this uh, our basically gaseous state will gets over so at the end of the gaseous state we will look at some intermolecular forces of attraction which we see in various substances okay though in your NCRT textbook this section is given at the start of the chapter we'll study it towards the end because we won't really be using it to understand the concepts okay before uh, before this section so after this you will finally start with the liquid state now again liquid state is not in great detail in your syllabus only a few properties like vapor pressure viscosity and surface tension are given okay so we'll just look at them at a very basic at a very simple level now vapor pressure is something which you'll study in great detail in your class 12th physical chemistry and surface tension and viscosity are topics which you'll cover in your physics uh, subject okay so don't worry about liquid state and the last state that is solid state we'll cover in class 12th okay it is in your class 12th physical chemistry syllabus so this finishes up today's session Alright, so this is just a review of what all we'll be covering, okay, so that you have a better idea of what topics to tackle and to solve the numerical problems and various questions based on these topics. Okay. So until next time and once again, thanks for watching Edupedia World videos.